Welcome everyone. My name is Joe Sisko, and I'd like you to welcome. I would like to welcome you to the short webinar about um, using the video note tool inside of assignments inside of Brightspace. So currently, I'm in my learning space. You can see I'm in the demo for champions at the University of Windsor. So I'm going to navigate to the assignment folder, and in my assignment folder, I do have an assignment where a student has submitted some work. So this will be very much um, hands-on in a sense that we can see what it actually looks like when a student submits work and how teachers then may provide a video note um, as part of the feedback. Okay, so as you can see um, in this assignment number five at the bottom, we have two new submissions. So I'm gonna go click on that submission right there. And that's going to bring me to the two new submissions that I've received from my students here. And I'm going to click on this most recent submission of assignment 1A. And if you're not familiar with the assignment tool, what happens is a nice PDF version of the student's work appears. And I can navigate through that and provide some feedback in different ways if I would like to, to provide certain annotations if needed. On the right-hand side is really where the power exists. So on the right-hand side of the assignment, I guess, feedback area is where I, as the instructor, have the ability to provide feedback to my, to my learners. Um, using what we call the Brightspace Editor. And within that Brightspace Editor, there's a button that we need to access that looks like a pause, play, rewind button that we call that the Insert Stuff button. Yes, it is actually called Insert Stuff. When I hover over that, you can see it's called Insert Stuff. And um, if I access that button, it will allow me to insert a whole bunch of things. But the item I want to focus on today is something called adding a video note. And I will visit with you. You can see there's two options here. One's to add a video note and one's to add a video note search. And I will discuss you know, what that means after the fact here. So when I click on video note, um, I get a different inter interface. It's going to ask me, you know, if you haven't already, it's going to ask you to enable your camera, but there I am. And I can start giving feedback to my students here. You may see in the bottom right-hand corner here that I have the ability to add up to 30 minutes of recording time. You might be saying, geez, that's an awful lot. It absolutely is, but sometimes you need a lot of feedback and sometimes you might want to do that depending on your needs. So certainly um, the ability to have that is nice, but you can use 30 seconds if you want to. Um, you may also notice this is a new feature that Brightspace has added recently. Um, we have the ability to say, I'd like to maybe add audio only. So sometimes if I'm in this mode, I can say, no, maybe I just want to switch to audio. Maybe I'm not ready to be seen, um, but this is great because this is an option for students as well. Students might come and say, I'm willing to provide you know, an audio piece for my assignment, but I really don't want my video to be showing at that current moment there. And that's fine. So the options are available to each of us. So I'm just gonna cancel this for a second to show you how, how I actually got here again. But just so when you know, when you click the insert stuff button and you choose video note, these are your options. You can see your cameras available. You can record your webcam up to 30 minutes or you can do audio only. So let me back up a step and let me again talk about how we got here. So I've landed in the assignment area. I'm working on this assignment 1A for my student, and I would like to give my students some feedback. I can type inside of here and give just written feedback if I want to. If that's something I'm, I'm interested in doing, I can give written feedback to my learners if I need to. But again, the power of the video note is what's on display here. So to get there, I hover over this button called Insert Stuff. And when I choose Insert Stuff, my choice is to add a video note. So let's go do that. And there I am again, and it's quite simple. It's quite intuitive. When I press new recording, give me 30 seconds and I'm gonna give my students some feedback. So thank you for your submission. You seem to have met all the expectations. At this moment, I would probably give my students some feedback about what was good, where I would like to see, see them do some improvement and so on. And enough said, but I'll let you do that feedback on your own piece. Once you're completed your feedback and you're happy with that, you as the instructor would then press stop recording. If you would, it's going to play it for you. Um, if you're happy with the recording, you listen to it, it's great. You can say next. And this is where there's some really nice options here that Brightspace has, has added in here to sort of improve the accessibility and make sure that we're meeting the needs of all of our learners and you yourself as a teacher. So you can give this a title and you can be as descriptive as you want. You can say this is assignment number one feedback and you can probably put the student's name if you wanted to or you could say whatever it is. And I will give you one best practice here, one effective practice. Often as an, as an instructor, an educator, you're giving feedback 
that is similar to both to many students. So might you want to give it a generic name because you might want to reuse it again. But what's really valuable to you as an instructor too is you have the option to give a description and you can give as lengthy a description as you want so you can identify that video note for later use if needed. This is really cool. You get to choose the language that you were speaking in. So the point of this is that you as an instructor say, I was speaking in English. I chose that and I would like Brightspace to automatically generate captions from that audio for my students. So what a great feature that is, is that now we have the option to say, we are now making a video note that is accessible to all of the learners in there in front of me in my class. I will add this here, and this is very important to know. If you do choose not to add video add to captions at the at the moment you're creating the video, you can always go back and add captions later. You can also edit the captions after the fact if you feel like it didn't it wasn't representative of what you were saying. So in this situation, I'm done. I feel good. I, I've given it some details about what I want to uh, say about this video note, and I'm going to say next. Brightspace is then going to wait a few minutes or try the best they can to process that. You will get a message like this one saying the media file is currently being processed. Please come back later. But you are very comfortable saying, I'm going to say insert. And that video note will now be part of the feedback that my student's going to get. So they will get some written feedback from me, as well as the video note feedback that is going to be processed and sent out to my students. I then, as you notice, I have the option to give my student a grade out of 100, if, if so, if need be. And as I'm waiting for that video note to process, great. I would probably say, okay, I'm all set to go. Um, a couple of other options I would like to show you as we're moving along here is below the Brightspace editor. So the Brightspace editor sort of ends right there within that orange box. Just below that Brightspace editor, you'll notice there are two buttons that are available to you as well. One says record audio and one says record video. Really, I always like to say this is really just all about preference. If you feel like you would much rather have the audio file or the video file at, as an attachment for your students. If that's something that they're very used to and you say, I'd like to, to use that there, that's fine. You can use either of those tools. One caveat, please understand that if you do use either of the tools on the bottom, they will go in as attachments and the student will have to download those before they're able to view them. The beauty of the video note piece that we have in line, as you can see, um, I'm just gonna clear my drawings here for a second. Um, one of the pieces is that if it's in line, let me make this full screen, the student will be able to see this right here. They'll be, if this is wonderful for our young learners, they can read the written feedback if there's a, going to be any written feedback, but then they can just play the video right there. And when they play the video, you can see that the captions that were generated automatically are right there and the student can read them. The student has the ability to make this full screen if need be, but this is really, really user-friendly from the student view. This is absolutely brilliant and it's seamless. The student literally is going to look at their feedback. They can read it, they can listen to it. They can actually have the captions available to them when they're there. So again, really powerful in the sense that you are giving feedback that is going to establish your teacher presence. You're going to feel like you're really giving that student that personalized feedback that's going to be needed and very much well received um, from the learners that are in front of you. So I'm just going to say save draft. Then as the educator, what I would do is I would go back to my assignments and see if there's more assignments available for me um, to work on. 